Hi, I'm Chip, Big Hood Hidalgo with Hardcore Powerlifting. Uh, today I'm going to take you inside the gym and show you some of my techniques on the bench press. Uh, technique that's called sink. Uh, some people may confuse it with heaving or double clutching. I'm going to show you the difference between the two, standard bench press and sink bench press. So if you join me at the gym, we'll get started. This is Ray White. Uh, he'll be demonstrating a standard bench press. You can see as he sets up, feet planted, but shoulder blades planted on the bench, sets his position uh, with his hands on the bar, sets up, puts in position, gets into his power line, and then you'll see his eccentric movement as it goes down, makes contact with his chest. Okay, this is a sink technique that's utilized. You see, getting in position, uh, get my get my feet planted, set up on the um, bench press, get my hands in position, uh, get set up, go into my power line, uh, then descend down. And once I descend down, you'll see I'll drive further into my into my power line than the standard procedure. All right, this is an example of an intermediate bench press with a slight sink performed by C.C. Oliver. It demonstrates the uh, sink technique uh, as opposed to the uh, standard technique that you've seen utilized uh, by most lifters. Uh, it gives you an indication of what the difference is between a sink and what's some commonly referred to as a double clutch or a heave. Now, in a double clutch or a heave, what tends to happen is bar comes down, press signal's given, double clutch, back up. What happens? Sink after the press, that's the key. You dip down after the press and then hoist the weight up. That's red lights in any federation. Heaving, coming down like that. Use a momentum to drive the weight up. Sink technique, very different. Sink technique, you can see from the side, come down, sink, stop, press signal given, drive back up through the range of motion. That's a distinct difference between doing press and press. When you press and you descend backwards eccentrically from static mode, that's no lift. If you're stopped in static mode, press signal given, and you go in the concentric part of the movement, that's a good lift. Trust me, it's a difficult lift technique to, to execute, but once you learn it, it can definitely drive your bench press numbers up.